Let us solve for a real number x if 7 to the power cos square x plus 7 to the power sin square x equal to 8. So we are given the equation 7 to the power cos square x plus 7 to the power sin square x equal to 8. We know that cos square plus sin square equal to 1. So let us multiply this equation, equation 1, throughout by 7 to the power sin square x. So multiply, we multiply each term by 7 to the power sin square x. So, so 7 to the power sin square x into 7 to the power cos square x plus 7 to the power sin square x into 7 to the power sin square x equal to 7 to the power sin square x into 8. Now you see that if base are same, then the powers can be added. So we can write this as 7 to the power sin square x plus cos square x plus 7 to the power. Okay, you got the same power, so power will get doubled. 2 times sin square x equal to 8 into 7 to the power sin square x. But as we said earlier, we know that sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1. So we can simply write this as 7 plus, oh, this one we know that uh, a to the power m whole thing to the power n equal to a to the power mn. We know this identity, right? So we can write this as 7 to the power sin square x whole thing square. 2 into, by this law, a to the power m to the power n equal to a to the power m into n. So, 2 into sin square x can be written as sin square x whole thing, is, sorry, 7 to the power 2 into sin square x can be written as 7 to the power sin square x whole thing square equal to 8 into 7 to the power sin square x. Oh, you see 7 to the power sin square x, 7 to the power sin square x. Let us try to simplify it. Let 7 to the power sin square x be equal to y. That implies 7 plus y square equal to 8y. Okay, now we write everything to the left hand side to obtain y square minus 8y plus 7 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation in y and definitely we can solve it. This is an expression of the type ay square plus by plus c equal to 0. Roots are given by y equal to minus b plus minus root over b square mi oh, minus 4ac by 2a but this one, you see, we, ca we can simply factorize it, right? 7 into 1 is 8 and 7 into 1 is, sorry, 7 into 1 is 7 and 7 plus 1 is 8. We can simply factorize it by splitting the middle term. So, let's do the easier one. So, y square minus 7y minus 1y plus 7 into 1 equal to 0. 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 is split into 7 plus 1 and 7 into 1 is 7. Now, if I take y common, I will be left out with y minus 7. If I take minus 1 common, again I will be left out with y minus 7. Once again, we take y minus 7 common and we are left out with y minus 1. So, if product of two numbers equal to 0, one of them has to be equal to 0. So, either y minus 7 has to be 0 or y minus 1 equal to 0. Maybe both of them are 0. In any case, we have y equal to 1 or 7. But, we are assuming y equal to 7 to the power sin square x. So, let us write that. That implies 7 to the power sin square x equal to 1 or 7. But we know that 1 can be written as 7 to the power 0. Once again, 7 to the power sin square x equal to 1 or 7 and 7 is 7 to the power 1. 
Comparing the power, we obtain sine square x equal to 0 or sine square x equal to 1. Sine square x equal to 0, that is true if x equal to n pi because sine square x equal to 0 gives a sine x equal to 0 and that is true for x equal to n pi. What about sine square x equal to 1? That gives us sine x equal to plus or minus 1. So, x equal to uh, odd multiple of pi by 2, twice n plus 1 pi by 2. Okay, so, x equal to observe that n pi can be written as 2 n times pi by 2. So, you see that this is an even multiple of pi by 2, this is an odd multiple of pi by 2. So, in general we can say that x equal to all multiple of pi by 2 n times pi by 2 comma n is an integer. Once again x is either even multiple of pi by 2 or odd multiple of pi by 2 that can simply be written as x equal to all multiple of pi by 2 or all integral multiple of pi by 2 or x equal to n pi by 2 where n is an integer. 